Yes. Amazing. Then one thing after another thing without after trying. Another without trying. So how did you Amazing. meet Jack? Well, I, I did the movie, okay, which took about nine months in Nogales, Arizona. Came back to New York and um, had an apartment there with another actress friend of mine from Pittsburgh. And Rogers and Hammerstein put me under personal contract. I was the only person ever put under contract to them. I was never under contract to a movie studio. And so we did, I did Oklahoma under that contract. And they said, Shirley, we're sending a production of Oklahoma, stage production, to Europe. It was kind of a salute to France program and they were gonna be in Paris and Rome and Germany. And they said, we'd like you to play Laurie in the show. And the original uh, director that had directed it on Broadway in 1942 was directing this. And uh, I said, oh, wow, I'd never been to Europe. I said, how great. Sure. So the first day of rehearsals, we rehearsed in New York. And my friend that I was, my, was living with was a singer actress. And she was in the show too, which was fun, nice. And she called me, she had to go to the dance rehearsal. She was more a dancer. She said, Shirley, uh, have you met your leading man yet? I said, no, why? She said, oh, you are, you're, he's drop dead gorgeous. She said, wait till you meet him. I said, I'm not thrilled with handsome men because most of the time they know they're handsome and they're not very interesting. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That cliche goes both ways. Exactly yes. right. Anyway, I got to the theater and of course he was sitting in one end of the stage and I was sitting on the other and we, we were reading the show, you know, for the director. Um, and he got up and he walked all the way over to my chair and he said, hello. He said, my name is Jack Cassidy. I said, I, uh, he said, I know who you are. And he said, I just want to tell you that it's a pleasure, pleasure to work with you. And I saw, yes, he was very handsome, but I saw something else. I saw a kind of a sense of comedy, a sense of, you know, he was bright, interesting, not just a handsome guy. And that's what I saw right away. So the looks didn't, didn't do it for me. Then anyway, we, we rehearsed there. We went to Paris and my first night in Paris, he called me and he said, can I take, and he was married by the way. And he said, can I take you out on a date? I said, I said, you're a married man. He said, no, no, no. He said, I'm your leading man. He said, I'll, he said, I'll, I'll take you to the Eiffel Tower. He said, you know, and we'll have some champagne, he said, and some uh, escargot. And I said, Oh, I've never had either one. <laughs> so he said, anyway, we did that, went there, and it was wonderful, wonderful. He told jokes, he was funny. I loved the humor, you know. He was funny, he was bright. He was very theatrical. I mean, he'd done so many shows. You know, he was in a show called Wish You Were Here. Mm -hmm. He was the star on Broadway. And a lot of other stuff, some, a lot of summer stock and stuff like that. And um, he was 10 years older than me. and. Um, Anyway, we, we walked home across, we were staying on the left bank in Paris. Walked home, a little hotel called the Splendide, as I remember, and took me to my room, and I'm standing outside the door, and he leaned over and he kissed me on the cheek, and he said, I'm gonna marry you. I said, what are you talking about? I said, you're married. He said, I know, but I'm gonna marry you. And that was the first date. From then on, we went to Rome, went to uh, part, I didn't get to Germany, I got to Rome, did, did Paris, did, did Rome. And then R&H called and said they were gonna do the movie of Carousel. And they wanted me to star in the movie of Carousel. So I had to fly home. And my understudy took over with Jack there. But So I, then how soon after did you guys well, get married? I was up in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, doing mm -hmm. the, the movie. And I, I, you know, cause I said to him, you're married. He said, I know, but I'm getting a divorce. I was in Booth Bay Harbor, that's when it took so many months to make movies, you know. And I was there for, I think, six months. <clears throat> Every day he'd call me. And finally he called me, he said, I'm divorced. I said, you are? And he said, yes. He said, as soon as you get back, he said, you know, um, we'll get married. Well, I was there for about nine months. I came back and um, we both got into a show um, together. Um, was it now? Um, it was done in, in, uh, in, at, at, at the, on the Harvard campus in Massachusetts uh, at, the, at, the little, at the theater there. You know, it was a wonderful production. It was a, 
I can't think of the name of it now. Um, anyway, when we were there, he said, we're going to get married here. And that's mm -hmm. what we did. And we got married, and we, we had a matinee that day. We got married after the matinee. We had a show to go to. Uh, <laughs> how romantic. And, yeah, I know. <laughs> Doing what you love, exactly, and it's all together. Yeah. Then he had a son, David. That's Cassidy, right. He had yes. a son, David. And I remember the day of the wedding, um, David called him, and his ex-wife uh, called and was not happy about the whole thing, because David, I guess, was suffering. And mm -hmm. it was, it was, you know, she was very upset and all that. But, and I think that... In many ways, that's probably partly what, what, what caused a lot of problems with David, too, you know, because Jack was never, um, he was more a father to our sons than he ever was to David. He was on the road all the time. He was a young man. And, uh, you know, and he was a ladies' man, as we well know, when mm -hmm. you read the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, I think that was a, a part of the problem, even with David, you know, because David was a very sensitive young boy very sensitive and when we did partridge he he couldn't have been nicer to work with i adored david i mean and he he was great with his brothers too